Hey everybody, Ryan here at eTrailer. Today on our 2019 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited, we're gonna be taking a look at and showing you how to install the Roadmaster Stoplight Switch Kit. So there's gonna be a total of five main components needed to flat tow your Wrangler Unlimited down the road. First one's going to be the base plate. So the base plate is going to be that solid connection point here at the front of your Jeep, which allows you to connect your tow bar to. So that tow bar is the second component. And this is going to be that main link that connects the front of your Jeep to the back of your motorhome. The third component is going to be safety cables. And these are there in the event of a unlikely disconnect. The safety cables are gonna keep your Jeep and your motorhome attached together. The fourth component is going to be tow bar wiring. So the tow bar wiring is going to transfer the lighting signals from the back of your motorhome to the back of your Jeep. That way other motorists will know your intentions as you're going down the road. And last but not least, the fifth component is going to be a braking system. So what the braking system is going to do is apply the brakes in the Jeep whenever you hit the brakes inside of the motorhome. And that's going to do a couple of things. Not only is it going to make your stops more safe and predictable, but it's also going to reduce the wear and tear on your motorhome's braking system as well. But sometimes there's also smaller components that you need to use to make everything work together correctly. And that's what the brake light switch is going to do. On your braking system, it's going to use a indicator light and that light is going to tell you whether or not the brake pedal inside of your Jeep is being depressed. Except with the Jeeps, whenever they're in flat tow mode, the factory brake pedal switch is going to be inactive. And so you can't hook into that like you can on some of the other vehicles. And that's exactly where the brake light switch is going to come into play. It's going to be an independent switch that hooks up to your battery and hooks up to your indicator light and that's going to truly tell you if your brake pedal is moving whenever your braking system is activated now one thing i really do like about using the switch kit is that we're not going to have to touch our jeep's factory wiring at all and to me that gives me a lot of peace of mind knowing that we're not cutting in or splicing into that factory wiring because these newer Jeeps can have really advanced and complicated electrical systems. And by not having to tap into that, we're not doing anything to jeopardize that factory electrical system. So with this setup, it's one less thing you're not going to have to worry about and you know everything is going to work properly. So at the end of the day, a really simple way to get your indicator light to work. And that'll just make you feel that much safer as you're going down the road, knowing that your brake pedal on the Jeep is indeed being applied whenever you're stopping in the motorhome. Now, since this is a custom fit kit, it's particularly designed for your Jeep. So that's gonna make installation really straightforward. It already utilizes a stud underneath the dash that the bracket bolts to. And then you're just going to have a couple of wires that you need to run. So it's really no big deal and shouldn't take you hardly any time at all. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and do that together now. To begin our install, we're going to be here on our driver's seat. And we're going to be working in this area just behind our dash. Now to make life a little bit easier, we can remove the center panel. Really straightforward. You just pop it off with your hands. You kind of pry back on it. and work it off Let's set that to the side and just to give us a little bit more room we can kind of push this up out of the way we're going to have a screw phillips head screw on each side so I'll loosen them up And then that'll let us bend this a little bit if we need to uh, have a little more room to see up in there. Now if we look underneath of our dash, we're going to have a 13 millimeter nut, this one right here, and that's going to be located 
on the left side of our Jeep, so closest to the driver's side door. And it's gonna be one of the nuts that is helping support our steering column here. What we're gonna do is take a 13 millimeter socket and remove that nut. And that's where our bracket will eventually go that holds our stoplight switch. So now what we can do is grab our bracket and one side of the bracket will have notches in it. The other side won't. We're gonna take the side that does not have the notches this side over here. We're going to take our switch and just with the one nut on the threads there, we're going to feed it through like that. And on the back side, we're going to take the star washer and the hex nut. And we're just going to snug that down just finger tight for now. Just loosely get it in place, that way if we need to adjust it, it'll be a lot easier to do so. So before we kind of put our switch and bracket in place, what I like to do is just connect our wires to these ends here. That way it's a little easier to work with and we're not underneath the dash. So what we're gonna do is carefully strip back the insulation. I think what I'm gonna do is strip them back a little longer Looks like the wires are somewhat thin underneath that insulation, so by stripping it back longer, I can kind of twist them together and kind of double it up like that, make that wire a little thicker. And on each end, I'm just going to take one of the included butt connectors, slide that over, and then crimp it down. Do the same thing for this one here. And the reason I do this is it's much more manageable to try to work with these relatively small wires out in the open as opposed to trying to lay on your back under the dash and do this. So once we have those connectors on, I'm gonna take the green wire that comes included with the kit, strip back the insulation on one end, and hook it up to either one of the black wires. It doesn't matter which side we go with here. And this green wire is eventually going to get connected to the indicator light that is on our braking system. So we'll crimp that down. And then I'm gonna grab my white wire. Now the kit does come included with a red wire and it's not long enough for how we need to run it. It fell about five feet short, so I'm using a piece of white wire that I had laying around to replace that. So if you're going to end up routing this wire the same as me, which I do recommend, you're going to need to get either a longer wire or a piece where you can connect to the one that's included. I'd probably recommend maybe eight to ten foot of wiring here. With that being said, we're going to connect that to the other buck connector. And this one eventually is gonna run under the hood into the engine compartment over to the fuse block. But now that we have these connected, what I'm gonna do is come back with some tape and just help secure them and clean up our install look a little bit. So I went ahead and taped up our connectors there that's what it looks like now we're going to take this whole assembly here and put it back up underneath the driver's side dash and so how this is going to work is this is going to set this way the switch part is going to kind of get pushed against our brake pedal arm and this hole in the bracket is going to go over that stud which we removed that nut from earlier so we can line up our bracket with that stud, push it over the top, and then take the nut and re-secure it. So as you can see, this is how our switch is going to sit. It's going to be in line with the brake pedal arm. That way whenever we push your brake pedal arm down, it's going to initiate that switch. And we are going to have to adjust that 
but we'll get our two wires hooked up and then we'll be able to test it a little bit better to make sure that we have it adjusted correctly. So our green wire, that's gonna get hooked up to our indicator light. Now in our case, we're using the Demco Stay and Play braking system. And so we're gonna hook the green wire up to the red wire to that. If you're using a different braking system, the color of your indicator lights wiring may be a little bit different. So just make sure that you see those instructions and that'll let you know what wire you need to hook up more or less. And so I'll just slide that green wire into the buck connector and crimp it down. Now the white wire, what we're gonna do with that is run that into the engine compartment and hook it up to a power source. So we did pass it through the firewall and right here in this area, just up higher, there is a grommet that we used to, to be able to do that. So this is a little bit better look at that grommet that we pushed our white wire through. So underneath the hood, now in the engine compartment, here is the grommet that we ran our white wire through. And we're gonna run this over to the passenger side to the battery. So what I did, just loosely followed our firewall here all the way across over to the battery. Now once we get everything hooked up, we can always come back with some zip ties and tape and clean everything up. So here's where our white wire ends. And what you're gonna do is attach it to the included fuse holder. So same thing as the wiring inside, just use a buck connector to connect those two together. And on the other end, you're gonna take the included ring terminal and crimp that on. You then wanna open up the cap and make sure that the fuse is not installed yet. So we're empty, so we're good. I'll let that hang out for a minute. If you come over here to your positive battery terminal and lift up the cap, we're gonna remove one of these nuts and I'm gonna take this one off here. So I'll grab a 12 millimeter socket, break that loose, that completely remove the nut. Thank you. Take our ring terminal and slide that over the stud. We'll just take our nut and snug it back down. So now that we have it connected, we kind of put our cover back over, move back up to our fuse holder, take the included fuse, and push it into place. So now back underneath the dash, what you are gonna to need to do is adjust your switch. And so how you want this to work is the plunger on the back side of the switch that sits up against the brake pedal arm. You want that to be fully depressed whenever the brake pedal arm is in that relaxed position. But whenever you start to push down on the brake pedal arm and get a little bit of movement, after about, I'd say about an eighth of an inch of that brake pedal arm travel is where you want that plunger on the switch to start to come out. And once that plunger on the switch starts to come out, that's when it's going to send power to your indicator light and illuminate it. So the way to adjust it is the nut on this side. And if you remember, we had another nut on the other side of this bracket. You can either loosen them or tighten them and that's gonna make the switch pull further away or push closer to the brake pedal arm. And once you find that sweet spot, you're simply just going to tighten the nuts down. That way the switch is secure. So I went ahead and re-secured this here. And now we can take our panel and just push it back into place. And that'll finish up our look at and our installation of the Roadmaster Stoplight Switch Kit on our 2019 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited.